Whispers of the Past. Chapter 1, Inheritance. Kira stood in the middle of her grandmother's living room, surrounded by boxes filled with a lifetime's accumulation of memories and treasures. The air was thick with dust and nostalgia, each item a testament to her grandmother's rich and vibrant life. Grandma Lynn had been the family matriarch, a woman whose roots ran deep into the traditions and stories of their Asian heritage. With her passing, Kira felt as if a link to her past had been severed, leaving her adrift in a sea of grief and loss. Among the assortment of belongings, Kira's eyes were drawn to a small, elegantly carved box. It was unlike anything else in the room, seemingly out of place amidst the collection of familiar household items. With a mixture of reverence and curiosity, she opened it to reveal a jade pendant on a silk cord, its surface etched with ancient symbols that seemed to pulse with a life of their own. Beneath the pendant lay a diary, its leather cover worn and faded, the pages within filled with her grandmother's neat script. To Kira, the inscription on the first page read, May you find the courage to see beyond what is visible. The words struck a chord in Kira, resonating with the countless stories her grandmother had shared, tales of spirits, of ancestral guides, and of the thin veil that separated their world from the unseen. While Kira had always listened with rapt attention, she had never fully embraced these beliefs, attributing them to the fanciful imagination of an elder steeped in tradition. Ethan, Kyra's partner, watched her from the doorway, a questioning look in his eyes. What's that? He asked, nodding towards the pendant now cradled in her palm. Kira held it up, allowing the pendant to catch the light. I'm not sure, she confessed. Something from Grandma's past, I think. She left it for me. Her voice trailed off, lost in thought as she fingered the delicate carvings. Kyra's initial curiosity about the pendant was soon overtaken by her interest in the diary. As she flipped through the pages, she discovered entries that detailed her grandmother's deep spiritual beliefs, her experiences with the unseen world, and most intriguingly, the history of the jade pendant itself. Grandma Lynn wrote of the pendant as a talisman, a protective charm passed down through generations, each bearer entrusted with its care and the balance it maintained between the earthly and the spiritual realms. One entry, dated many years back, caught Kira's attention. The pendant has been in our family for centuries, a gift from the spirits to our ancestors in recognition of a great deed. It serves as a guardian against malevolence, but it also attracts the attention of those who seek to disturb the harmony between worlds. Its keeper must be vigilant, for the responsibility is great. Kira remained in the quiet solace of her grandmother's living room, the diary's revelation spread open before her. She hadn't moved from her spot, surrounded by boxes and the remnants of her grandmother's life, yet the world around her seemed to shift with every page turned. The jade pendant, which she had carefully placed on the coffee table beside her, now drew her gaze repeatedly, its ancient symbols seemingly more vibrant under the room's dim light. Her fingers brushed against the pendant's cool surface, and without fully realizing it, she picked it up, examining the intricate carvings up close. The diary entries, filled with tales of spiritual guardianship and ancestral wisdom, painted the pendant not just as an heirloom, but as a beacon of her family's legacy. It was a legacy that Kira had always admired from a distance, framed by the skepticism of modern beliefs and the tangible reality she preferred to inhabit. As she held the pendant, Kyra felt a connection she couldn't quite explain. Her grandmother's words etched onto the pages of the diary spoke of the pendant's role as a protector, its history intertwined with their family's fate for generations. It was a tangible link to the past, to the stories that had fascinated her as a child, stories she had gradually distanced herself from as she grew older. The decision to loop the pendant around her neck was made with a mixture of curiosity and a newfound respect for her grandmother's beliefs. 
It wasn't an acceptance of the supernatural so much as an acknowledgement of her heritage, a way to feel closer to Grandma Lin. The pendant's weight was comforting, a silent reminder of the lineage she was a part of, and of the mysteries the diary hinted at, waiting to be unraveled. In the safety of her grandmother's home, surrounded by the echoes of a life steeped in tradition and spiritual practice, Kira allowed herself to consider the possibility of a world beyond the visible. The skepticism that had always guided her remained, but it was now tempered by the intrigue of her grandmother's experiences and the undeniable pull of the pendant. This moment marked the beginning of Kira's journey into the depths of her family's history and the exploration of her own beliefs. The diary, with its cryptic entries and ancestral wisdom, offered a path to understanding the significance of the pendant, not just as a family heirloom, but as a key to unlocking the mysteries that lay at the heart of her grandmother's legacy.